Welcome to another episode of ASX Trading Review. Today we are looking at a trade I made on Castle Minerals. The ticket is CDT and we're going to break it down and analyse what I did well and what I did poorly in this trade. Let's get into it. How's it going guys? Ryan here and welcome back to another episode of ASX Trading Review. As I mentioned, we're looking at Castle Minerals CDT. This is a trade that I made last week and for once, we're not looking at a positive trade. I want to share with you a trade where I actually lost money, but the overall outcome from it was positive in the long term if you're looking at the price action that occurred after the trade and what happened was putting key rules in place in order to make important decisions to preserve capital. And that's exactly what I did. So whilst I lost money on this trade, it was actually successful in the sense of I applied the rules that I always apply and was able to reduce the losses that I could have incurred. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the computer and get into it. As always guys, I'd like to show you that these are legitimate trades. So here is my buy confirmation of CDT on the 24th of the 3rd, 2022. I was trying to get in at 6.4 cents, but as you can see, I managed to pick some up on a cross trade at 6.35, which is absolutely fantastic. Then what we see here is the sell side, and I got out at a value of 5.8 so clearly I have made a loss on that and that was on the following day of the 25th of the 3rd 2022 Welcome into the CDT chart guys as you can see I have left up the working so you can see what my thought patterns were throughout this trade now as you know, I entered at roughly about 6.4 cents so that is this yellow line that you are seeing right here and what I was seeing was immediately when I did buy on, I suppose over here on the 24th, I thought I had a nice little bit of a dip before potentially another run up to what I was expecting up here at about seven cents. Unfortunately, that did not occur. What occurred instead was we started moving in a downwards direction and unfortunately we closed at 6.2 cents. And I'd mark that one out because for me, that was probably the first major point of support that we had. We'd managed to break above it and close above it yesterday, so I thought fundamentally it should be pretty strong. And it looked like what was occurring was a bit of a flag pattern was starting to form itself, so I drew that one in place. Now, the following day, unfortunately, we continued to dip. And basically, I said to myself, if we hit this five point nine cent mark, that is the next major point of support. So in my opinion, once it hits that, that is the last line of support. And if it dips anywhere below it, I am out. And unfortunately, it broke. It broke on that same day and I sold out at 5.8. And in fact, I think I was the reason why it managed to actually close at that point on that day, unfortunately. But I had to preserve my capital. And the reason I was saying at the start of the video that this was a good decision was because as you can see, the price is now sitting at 5.6 cents and it dipped even lower to a value of 5.5 cents. So what I've done here is basically preserved my capital. Now I could have, I suppose, waited for a little bounce potentially off of course here, the 20 day moving average that is currently sitting at 5.5 four cents, but I have my positions. I need to preserve my capital. That is fundamental. So you've got to follow your rules of trading in order to be successful in the long term and minimizing your losses by taking them early is a great way of doing that and letting your winners run instead as we've seen on a few of the previous trades. So as you can see here, obviously I could have potentially had a little bit of a bounce back, maybe sold back at 5.9 cents. But at this point in time, the price is still lower. So in my opinion, I have made the right move, unfortunately lost money on it, but made the right move in order to preserve my capital. Looking at the rest of, I suppose, the indicators at the moment, 
Now, we're not seeing, I suppose, too much information from the moving averages, they're pretty irrelevant. We can see a decline in volume, as you can see over here, which indicates to me that maybe we will see this uptick again and start to run once more after, I suppose, I think touching maybe right here on this 20 day moving average. That could potentially have occurred, but I was not willing to take that risk at the time. Let's look at a few more indicators. MACD, as you can see on the MACD, basically the day that I bought in was the peak of it and I wasn't expecting that. It was still a solid green little candle that we saw there. I was expecting it to continue upwards in that sort of a direction as we saw previously. Unfortunately, it didn't and you can see straight away the day after it started to drop. So once again, started making a good move and you can see of course now we've got the 12 day EMA crossing below the 26 day EMA which is a bearish signal for the short term on this stock as well. Last one I want to look at, RSI. Bringing this one up, what you can see here is there hasn't been, I suppose, too much going on. We were heading towards the overbought range, but we didn't get to it. I agree things did need to cool off, but they cooled off quicker and more harshly than I unfortunately anticipated. And to be quite honest, the drop that occurred caught me a bit off guard. I wasn't expecting a drop of that size to occur. I did expect to see, you know, this 6.2 cent mark tested multiple times in this flag pattern that I thought was forming. Unfortunately though, the flag pattern failed, the support failed, not once, but also twice. And it just meant that I had to unfortunately get out of this trade and preserve my capital. And that wraps up my trading review of my trade on CDT. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the trade down in the comments section below. Do you think that I did the right thing? What could I have done better? Were there some signals that I potentially missed that could have made me, I suppose, make more money or lose less money? Let me know down in the comments section below. Of course, if you did enjoy today's video as well, make sure you do leave a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of this sort of content, hit subscribe and turn on those bell notifications. I'll leave it there for today, guys. I hope you have an awesome day. I'll see you next time. Cheers.